Alright guys, today we're going to be making some Oklahoma Smash Burgers, but we're going to be twisting it up just a little bit, putting our own flavor to it. Stay tuned. So a lot of people don't know exactly where the Smash Burger originated from, and from my best understanding, it came from El Reno, Oklahoma, back in the Great Depression. They really didn't have a whole lot of meat, so what they did was sliced up onions very, very, very thin and added them to the meat patties to really kind of fill in for the lack of meat. So, uh, I believe uh, there are many places that still serve it, and the lineage of uh, it was Robert's uh, that started it. The lineage still lives on there in El Reno, but today we're going to be putting our own little twist on it. Like I said, we're going to change it up just a hair and we're going to make some smash burgers. I've got a flat iron grill uh, getting heated up over some live fire charcoal on the ugly drum smoker. Once that gets nice and hot, we want that blazing hot. We're going to start putting these burger patties on there, smashing them down, throwing some onions on it and making our version of the Oklahoma smash burger. Okay guys, so our griddle is sitting right about 400 degrees, pretty nice and hot. So we're going to go ahead and take our balls and we're going to take our hamburger meat and go ahead and start making patties on the griddle. Come on. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that your grill is smoking hot. And this one is obviously, I've already cooked a few just trying to uh, get the feel for it, okay? Um, so first thing you want to do is uh, uh, really get this ball of meat slapped down on there. And the way that splattered like that, that's kind of how you want it because you're going to add a good chunk, handful of onions on top. Now, in Oklahoma, their onions these are more minced than they are sliced thin because um, my mandolin broke and I just couldn't really do slices, but uh, these will work. Uh, the idea is just to get them very thin so that you can throw them on top of there and then you grease the back side of your uh, spatula and just smash it together. All right, smash burger. So we're going to let that cook, get a good char on the bottom side, then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing. So we just stuck our bread down on there. Now I know in El Reno they don't exactly toast their buns, they more like they steam it. Uh, but I like it toasted, so I'm gonna stick uh, some cheese on there. Now this is just good old uh, regular old cheese, sandwich cheese, cheap cheese. It melts so much better. Two patties, two pieces of bread. I'm making a double. I know traditionally that's just a single patty, single slice of cheese burger with a little bit of mustard and a couple of pickles. But we're gonna do a double cheeseburger style toasted and then I'm gonna put something completely different on there to make it my own. Let this get soaked up. We're gonna pull these off once they get nice and toasted. And when that gets nice and melted, it's time to pull them off, get it ready to stick in our mouth. Oh yeah. That's all the good stuff right there. I'm actually gonna put that on top. That's that caramelized onions and all that good stuff from the grill itself. So, like I said, traditionally they throw three or four pieces of uh, uh, pickles on there, sliced pickles on there, and then on some mustard. And it would be single patty and single cheese. And sometimes, most of the time, I know at SIDS they don't even use cheese sometimes. So, anyways. We're gonna put uh, our little bit of our crack sauce. This is a sauce that I love uh, to put on almost everything. We're gonna put a little bit of that on there. It is kind of a mayonnaise base um, instead of the vinegar base. So that's my take on the Oklahoma Smash Burger. 
and man it smashes down so so perfectly so let's get this cleaned off and then uh, we'll get this sliced in half we'll take a look at it and see how it tastes Guys, I can't wait to take a bite out of this delicious onion smash burger. It is so, so good. You get a taste of every level of onion cooked in a burger. Like you get them heavily sauteed, uh, you know, almost caramelized to nothing, all the way up to just barely cooked. I mean, in every flavor profile that an onion offers at every stage of being cooked, you get that in this burger. You get a little bit of that savoriness of the cheese, the creaminess of the cheese that's melted down on it, uh, the SPG that I put down on there, it just kind of enhances the flavor a little bit. Really, that flavor is all coming from those layers of flavors from the onions and then the crack sauce. Obviously, you can't beat that. This is amazing, guys. I hope you try this at home sometime great for the whole family this is actually uh, deer meat that I ground up uh, from a deer that I harvested this isn't beef uh, but it tastes amazing with beef as well my family loves it I know yours will too make sure you go out there you do some great things help each other love each other I love you first get medic out mm.